we learned in civics class that you are automatically a citizen of a specific country that you are born. If I was filling out any application with the question, are you a citizen of the United States of America, I would respond no for the sake of Christianity according to Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. For the sake of truth, I was born in the United States of America that I am not happy thanks to the lies about life in the United States, about liberty in the United States, and about the pursuit of happiness in the United States. When I discover ridiculous laws, licensing of any kind, zoning, intellectual properties, ridiculous item bans by border enforcement officers, laws that make you to laugh, et cetera. And those break my heart, and I would not be happy to live with any country because of its own ridiculous laws that are similar to the United States. If I was living with any other country, the end justifies the means. If I was Filling out any application with the question, Have you committed any crimes in the past? I would respond, Yes, for the sake of Christianity, according to Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Government officials who expect perfection from people do not know that our true citizenship is in heaven. And government officials who expect perfection from people do not know that we all are sinners by breaking one of the Ten Commandments in our past lives. But thank God that we all have grace. According to Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 21. According to Philippians chapter 3 verse 20, our true citizenship is in heaven, not on earth. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18, the things that are on earth are temporary. If you do not believe me, Earth is full of deceit, according to my material experiences. You will learn that when you mature. I have a prayer of salvation from my editorial, Richness on Christmas, if you want Jesus in your life to go to heaven. And please check out 
richness on Christmas. You do not have to wait until Christmas to receive salvation because today is the day of salvation according to 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. If government officials are going to brainwash our minds that our true citizenship is in some country on earth by using the word slash synonyms slash word forms citizenship by atheism we are deceived by force that some country on earth is our heaven so government officials can claim some country as their own promised land by legal bullying and so we can forget to know our true spiritual heaven are we going to heaven by having no criminal background no god gives us grace according to romans chapter 5 verse 20 according to second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 and according to ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 are they the government officials god no government officials are not perfect and government officials do not have the answers to everything and i am not perfect and i do not have the answers to everything